Okay, so welcome to the second video on Eve's Law. Okay, so at the end of the previous video, I was explaining why, um, why the why the um, random variable y restricted to x squared is the same thing as creating the random variable y squared and then limiting it down to x, because basically in this case you are just limiting down your probability space to the probability space that the x value is a certain uh, value. And then you are squaring the value of this function uh, that each point in this smaller probability space is being mapped onto. But in this case, all you're doing is again squaring the value that the function is mapping each point onto. And indeed, that will still square the value of the function that each point in this restricted probability space is being mapped onto. And then you restrict down. And basically, every point in this probability space, x is equal to a, is going to be mapped onto the same value by this function as it is by this function. So, what we can do is replace y given x with y squared given x in there. So this bit here, this term here, becomes the expected value of the expected value of y squared given x. And now we can apply Adam's law to that to say that this is the expected value of y squared. So overall, what we have now got is that this is the expected value of y squared minus the expected value of y. Uh, all of that squared, uh, which indeed is the variance of y. So that's the proof of um, Eve's law complete.